Hello family, this is Albert Thomas. I am one of the senior founders of TradeCoin Club. Um, it's my privilege um, to have this opportunity to sit down with you and kind of go over the TradeCoin Club manual. So I'm going to go ahead and reduce this picture here, but I just want to say hi. This is amazing. Um, I have not seen anything in 29 years of being in this line of work where you have to talk with people about the product that you want to sell. Um, really, there's no sale here. It's all based on you put your money in and your money earns your money based on what the um, uh, trading goes on within the company. And they're, they're here to make profit, right? So we know that with them behind that, uh, we're going to make money. And um, I've made money um, quite a bit. I'm not going to make any claims um, for legal purposes, but just know that um, I am going to be able to retire this year. Um, and I'm just ecstatic about that because I can spend time with my family. So anyways, let's get started. Um, you've got your TCC back office manual. Nobody has seen this yet. Um, there's going to be a table of contents, obviously, um, talking about the registration, the introductions, the dashboard features, package purchasing instructions, ID instructions, BTC wallet registration instructions, withdrawing instructions, wallet funds instructions, Reinvestment of profit and commission instructions, important notes, transfer form, and footnotes. So the first and biggest thing um, that we want to bring up before we go into those 11 points is uh, you're not allowed to have any more than one account at all. So if you have more than one account, you need to reach out, um, take initiative, um, reach out to Joff. Um, and uh, ask them, what do I do? I, I, I want to be legitimate. Um, it's illegal for anybody to have more than one account because it's prohibited by law. So um, if you do not take initiative and you are discovered, then you will be faced with a frozen account and loss of your investment and will be permanently banned from ever joining TCC in any capacity. Do not try this, okay? The consequences are serious and people have been banned from the system already. So, and that's really sad, especially when you find out how much uh, money is to be made in this. First step is registering instructions. That's obviously going to be the important part. Um, it, it, this kind of goes through each section. I'm going to actually go to the site right now, but you want to select your language. And you have three different choices. One is English, Portuguese, and one is España, so uh, Spanish. So the next one is select your country. If you do not know what your country's name is in Spanish, because that's how it was built, uh, then you can go to Google and request what is the, you know, say, um, port, um, whatever country you're in, uh, Switzerland in Portuguese, say. So I know that for the U.S., you just go to the very bottom and then kind of come up here a little ways, and there's USA. So then the next step is you type in your user's name. If you weren't given a link specifically and it doesn't have your um, your sponsor's name in it, you're going to have to have a sponsor. So um, you, you just have to type it in there. And if that turns green and says sponsor has been found, you know you have at least um, a recognized sponsor. Hopefully you get the right one. So um, anyway, just double check too. There's no harm in making sure. And if your sponsor doesn't answer their phone or their text, they lose money. That's their problem. That's my policy. I always answer my stuff. So anyways, then you just type in your name. And you want to type in your first and last name. It doesn't have to be um, your whole name, although you can. And it'll affect the username that they choose for you. Now, that's my full name. And they're giving me an AL. I, I, I. And, and I don't like that because um, you got to remember this is the name that you're going to be giving to your possible recruit and you don't want them to wonder is this a legitimate link or is this something weird in this case there's nothing really weird about it other than that it's not what I want so but you can imagine some people's that have names that create x-rated terms uh, just just go with it okay understand that so like I know that I already have my username as my trebla so I'm gonna put a one after it and I'm gonna hit tab and it allows it um, if I do no tab it's going to eventually tell me that or when I go down and hit um, register it's not gonna let me keep that one so anyways so the next thing is it is very important that you put your driver's license in here so it depends on what state you are will determine what that format is in Washington, it's your last name and then your first couple letters and then a set of numbers that 
um, create the full license. So, but in this case, I'm just going to throw in some random numbers here as if it was like, a, I don't know if that's a New York or New Jersey license number, but anyways, and then just put in a phone number. It's, it's really simple, guys. Uh, you just follow the instructions. Now, if you're using Comcast, AOL, or um, Roadrunner email, those I've found just from experience have trouble with receiving emails from TCC because of their strict level. So I have also seen all three of those function properly. So remember, once you've registered, you can't ch add, do another account. You're going to have to call Joff and ask him to change your email or um, you know something like that. So anyway, just put um, my put in your email and then you're going to do it again. And, and remember guys, if something says that it is not accurate or it's not going to work, just remember that it's not the company, it's not the computer out to get you. It's an user error, okay? Um, you want to understand that. Um, I had a group that was just swearing up and down that they were doing their, their password correctly and it wasn't letting them in. It turns out their caps lock was on. They didn't notice it. So it wasn't the computer, it was their error. So there's always something. So don't get all upset, just move forward and figure it out. So the birth date, you know, just put in your birthday. Now you have to be um, 18. I understand the agreement that if you're 17 that, that um, you can have a parent sign for you. Um, however, I don't know the details on that completely yet, but I will find out. Um, and then the password. You want your password to be something that isn't easily hacked. Um, so you're going to just sign in something that um, is going to make sense to you. You can create a word or a phrase and then substitute, say, the O's with the at, or the A's with the at sign, you know, O's with zeros, something kind of neat and numeric. And then you have to click on the terms right here. And you would probably want to read through these because these tell you a lot. So that way, if you come and say, well, I didn't know, I didn't... I didn't understand. Well, the problem is, is it's given to you. So um, this says that you are 18 years of age, or if you're under 18 years of age, or at least the age of 17, and are accessing the site with the knowledge and consent of your parent or legal guardian. So um, that's the section I was talking about. So I don't know what that process is, because when you put in the right year, it kicks it back. So, anyways. Um, that being said, the, the last thing you do after you review all of this, it kind of goes over everything, guys. Um, it's up to you whether you want to, and, and you don't have to. Um, you can read it later again by going and pretending to sign up, just like I'm doing right now, and you can reread it. But you want to put your name um, down here. Not literally the words your name, but you want to put your name and then hit I accept. Now, I'm not going to hit I accept because it's not a real email, so I'm not going to be able to go confirm it, um, and uh, it's not the username that I want to use. So, the point is, is that once you hit save down here at the bottom after having signed the agreement, you hit save, it's going to have a box that pops up and it says, you must go confirm your email. It says it in Spanish, so it uses a little different terminology. So, anyways, go to your email and confirm it. So I'm just going to scroll down this a little bit. We kind of we already went all over this stuff right here. Create your password, you know, um, and then you want to click here to accept the terms. Like it's saying, just like I said, after you've done your signature, click on this. So I accept registration agreement, and then make sure that when you register, you're putting in your driver's license. If you do not, it's going to significantly delay your activation. You'll need to contact support through the email system and have them manually change it. So you'll have to email it to them. After completing the registration, you will want to then upload a picture of you holding your driver's license right next to your face. So um, given that this is like, say, my driver's license, you want to put it next to your face and take a selfie and make sure that, and you want to hold it so that your fingers aren't covering anything. Hold it on the sides like that and then hold it up here and then either have somebody, which is better, take a picture of you. Don't have any background as much as you can. That means she, they can get up really close because all they need is your face and you holding the driver's license next to your face or your passport. So that way when you do take the picture and you open the picture up and you zoom in, 
you're able to see the address clearly and it's not fuzzy, all right? So um, that is an important part to do. It won't delay your process of, um, of making money, but it will delay your process of being able to withdraw money, which for the most part, most of you are going to be not drawing out right away. So next part is the dashboard features. We have um, about 22 different items to, to kind of go over. The first one is the overview page. So I'm going to come to here and I'm going to log in. We're going to go to here and I'm going to just say register, log in. So we're just going to go put in the username here. Oops, I think I hit too many numbers. Let's do that over. So as soon as it opens up, it's going to automatically um, give you some information about a new FAQ section. All right, so it's going to pop up like this. Every time you go to the dashboard, you're going to have to exit out. So just exit out. All right, so here we are. You have your dashboard. That's where you go to see all your details, and that's where we're at here. Your network is the section you go to to see your binary, which will show you your, your tree, if you will. Um, the Unilevel network will show you all the people you've personally sponsored, and the matrix will show what your matrix looks like. So again, just kind of explore these things, okay? Financial plan. The financial extract kind of gives you a description of all the different uh, transactions that have occurred, the things that you've paid out, the things that you've earned, the commissions that you've earned from signing somebody up. Pay hash is where you'll go to pay a long Bitcoin address that you create to utilize some of the money in your account and you'll pay it there. Um, request a withdrawal. That's where you'll go to go ahead and ask for the money out. I mean, a lot of this is really common sense, guys. Plans, you're going to go to plans to buy, plan, to buy a plan or put money into your account or create a transfer for your commissions. Depositing funds, uh, that isn't quite available yet, but there's this red box over here. Or um, Once they activate that, you'll be able to take some of your monies and consolidate it over into your wallet funds that way you can kind of hold it aside like in a savings account separate so you don't accidentally spend it or use it and then tools there's um there's different updates videos downloads and tutorials your profile will take you to where you can change your password i mean it gives you that option here to go straight to it but your profile you're going to want to go into your profile and and create and fill in every line um, and then you have your support after your language, you can change your language if you'd like. But you can go into support and they've got a new FAQ. And then last but not least, you've got a section here for signing a friend. This wallet right here kind of goes over the commissions that you've made when you either sign somebody up or somebody that you personally sponsored compounds their money. This one is your wallet trade. That's the money that you're making off of your exchange. Now here's the deal. If you put in, um, say, one Bitcoin, Half of it is put into the exchange and half of it is paid to the company. It's just set aside as a stop loss, okay? You're making money on the one, the point one two five. Um, the total dep deposited, however, was 0.25. Now, if you cancel your agreement, meaning you try to withdraw your money before your term is up, and your term is found over here where it says days of trade or remain, um, you, this guy has 165 days left and he's gone through seven of his days. The other thing to realize too is that when your term is up, you'll be able to remove all of your commissions, all of your trade, and the 50% that you were trading on. Remember guys, you got to pay to play. And what I've found is that I've pulled out more money than I've put in. So it's kind of exciting. Um, a little bit of hard work doesn't hurt the soul at all, so go ahead and get to it. Um, I'm going to continue with uh, recording number two here shortly to continue going through the uh, back office um, um, instruction manual.